So we just looked at doing vertical shifts, and let's look at some of the examples that we had for the horizontal <coughs> translations. If I look at the absolute value of the quantity x plus 4, the first thing that we should see here is absolute value. And the absolute value, when we're talking about graphing, has a V-shape. Do you all agree? Now, what did we say about the plus 4 on the inside? What does that mean? The so I see a plus 4, so I'm going to do the opposite, which means I'm going to go left 4. Now, keep in mind that your original shape was this guy right here. He had a vertex at 0, 0. And these edges here basically would have a slope of 1. That's a really easy guy to look at. Up 1, over 1, and you get these nice points there. Okay? And have the same thing going over here. Now that was my original absolute value, but I have to shift this guy to the left 4 units. So that means he's going to start right here at negative 4. Well, now you've got to get the rest of the points from this guy. We know that he has this axis of symmetry running vertically through the vertex. And since this is understood to be a 1 here, we're going to talk more about this in just a moment, about slope, kind of, at least for the absolute value function. You're going up 1, over 1, so we get all of these nice points. And of course, you can reflect that on the other side and get those points. So when you connect the dots, you're going to see that this is exactly the same thing that I have dashed out in blue, but what did I do with it? All I did was move it to the left, right? And if you're not sure about it, is this the right thing? If I plug in negative 4, well, I was going to plug in negative 4 for x. I get 0, and what's the absolute value of 0? Zero? 0. So there's my fantastic picture. Is that okay? <coughs> the other example I had was the square root of x minus 3. So when I look at the graph of this, well, what is the graph? What did he look like? Right, just in. Right here, I'm just going to do a very crude sketch of what my shape is. When you go to the, to the grid, when you go to graph, there is no crude shape. You will graph accurately. Don't you agree? So my original function was this guy. Well, I, before I get there, what, uh, what do we say this minus 3 does? Or I say that we go to the right 3 units. When I'm looking at the square root function, I think about those values that gave me a perfect square. So 1 gave me a perfect square. Square root of 1 is 1, and then went where? The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 9 is 3. These were my key points for the square root function. And now what am I doing? I'm moving all those guys where? To the right, three units. So I'm going to start right here. Now imagine that this is a new set of axes for you. When I count this out, count accurately from this guy. So this would be my zero. I care about one. I don't care about two, three. I do care about four. I don't get to my next perfect square, do I? So what's the square root of 1? When I go out 4 units, what's the square root of 4? 2, and then so on. Now, this may be confusing. It may be better if I didn't have um, the numbers on the axes here. The thing about this, if I plug in 7... But you still have to use that. I mean, if you wanted us to plot the even coordinates, you still would be basing it off of those original. Right. So, and this is the thing. If I plug in 7 here, my function doesn't really see 7. My function sees what? 7 minus 3, which is 4. And that's how I want you to see that. I want you to see that I, I know I'm plugging in 7. But since I've shifted 
I'm really just looking at the square root of 4, which is a nice, perfect square. And so I get my nice square root function there going out to the right. Questions about what I have here for these graphs? All right, well, let's check these. So the absolute value function checks out perfectly, doesn't it? Of course, you just have to trust that what I tell the computer to graph is the same thing as what we're actually graphing. You trust me? You out in YouTube land, of course you're going to trust me, right? Okay. You have no choice. And here is my square root function. So you see that I'm starting here at 3 on both of these, and it's going out and to the right. Mm 